Hey guys, uh, we got another one here today. Today we have the AL ALO Audio RX MK3B headphone amplifier. All the letters make it sound better. <laughs> Anyways, uh, unboxing and review for you. This is the box. Comes well packaged. This is the amp here. Plastic, good finish. I'm gonna set that down and just go through the rest of the contents real quick. Some instructions underneath. Charging some of these things to help you attach it to another headphone amplifier if you so desire. I'm sorry, another uh, probably um, they offer a, a algorithm DAC. I'll go rhythm DAC, uh, which you can attach to is the Cypher Labs algorithm solo is roughly the same shape and size of this, so you can actually stack the two, two together with the bands that they provide. It's going to have a nice on the go rig. I'm sure some of you guys are aware. Uh, this thing's roughly about the size, a little bit bigger than a DAC, a deck of cards. Um, this one in particular does have something special. It has both single ended, as you can see, and balanced inputs and outputs. So that definitely is something new. I believe there's only a couple other amps on the market right now that do offer that kind of versatility. You can see here in the back, there's a switch that goes from the single ended to the balanced. Uh, the connected charger, 9 volt here, plugs right in the back. And while it's lit, this single LED light lets you know um, when it's charging, when it's done, then while you turn it on it's also got a blue indicator here. This is the single ended output, balanced output here, and then the um, amplification medium, lower, high here. Now the bass, bass knob here, I as I've noted on my blog, the, the bass knob is kind of unique for this particular amp. It's not as dramatic as a lot of other bass effects generally are. It's very subtle. Um, it's not bad. In fact, it's quite pleasing. Uh, I do feel that it's a little more color than just straight bass. Uh, when I'm when I turn the knob up, I feel like the mids are affected a little bit. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that treble is affected, but it's definitely an interesting mix that's much different than a lot of bass, other bass amplifiers that are out there. So you really don't the the main push doesn't happen till till the very end. You can listen to this thing all the way up and it's not over overly bassy. I think it's very subtle. It's very good though. I like it. It's an interesting mix, a different change. You know, I prefer it at about oh seventy five percent or fifty. If you really want to boost it up, though, it's not too much to do it 100%. Interesting, different, you know, just as still a great amp without any any of the bass boost, but you can, you know, color to taste. Um, the finish is good. It feels well built. There is definitely some weight to it. It, feel, it feels like it's filled with things. But um, fingerprints on the finish are a little more noticeable than some of the other ones, as you can kind of see. But still, I, I like the, the feel of it. It's good. It's a decent size so for something at work or something you actually want to take on the go. If you're on an airplane, this, this thing's uh, pretty spectacular. It does retail for around $650 currently. So it is one of the more higher priced amps out there. As far as the sound is concerned, it is extremely, extremely uh, well represented. The bass is good. It's very smooth. One of the things I did notice on some of the harsher treble um, recordings that I have, it really kind of smoothed those out. There wasn't nearly as much really high-end tweakiness to them, I'll just say that. And um, the overall presentation is, is very, very smooth. I really enjoyed it. I think the bass, um, the bass knob is great. This is like a great step in the right direction as far as bass is concerned because a lot of bass can is grossly overrepresented and not done quite well. So it's from an audiophile perspective, this is kind of a nice way to add some body to it. 
Aside from that, I really find the, the sound to be very clear. It is one of the top portable amps that I have ever heard, especially for the size and the fact that it is, is a completely solid state amplifier. I really, I really enjoy this. I highly recommend it for someone who wants the best. Obviously, the price tag isn't for everyone. However, I think it, you know, it works. It works well. If you combine this with one of their nice DACs, you're going to have one of the best you know, kind of portable rigs available to market today. All good things. Great amp. Hope these guys keep coming out with new stuff because they, they, keep, they keep bringing it. <laughs> I'll put it that way. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. As always, subscribe if you can to the channel and check out the website at audio-head.com. Uh, there's a full review there for you guys if you want more information. Till next time, have a good one.